Hey, what's up everybody? Connor Johnson back again with another vlog. Today, we're going to be doing something a little, little different. Today, we're going to be chopping some firewood. I know, you're like, Connor, it's going to be boring. But, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to start posting daily. And to do that, I need you guys to vote in the corner what you want me to do. I'm going to put some, you guys can put your own ideas, or or just leave a comment down below. Yeah, just leave a comment down below of what you want me to do in my vlogs. I don't want it to be anything stupid. I don't want to be like, bass bombs, oh my god. No, that stuff's girly. I'm not a girl. I have proof, my voice, everything. I'm not a girl. So... Comment down below what you want me to do. And rate this video up in the corner. Click the card. Chopping wood. Alright guys, so for today, what I'm going to be chopping my wood with is a splitter axe. They're different than a traditional axe because they have these uh, wedges that come up from the axe head. When the blade comes up, so when it hits into the wood, it splits it. And a sledgehammer. So what I'm going to do first is just get the axe in there, and then all you want to do is just hit it a couple times with the sledgehammer, and she splits, and I'm just going to split it again. Alright guys, so I found my first worm. I'll see if I can get it out and show you guys. So there it is. Uh, right there. Oh, I just ripped him. Alright. Well, we'll just leave him. They burn good. So I'm just going to throw it over there in my pile. I'm going to split this piece. Is that in frame? There we go. Um, let me just put it up a little. All right. All right. All right. So. Yeah, you just want to line up your axe. Get your sledgehammer and just hit it. Splits like butter. You don't really need to worry about the bark. I got a good bark collection. Let me get another piece. Now I'm going to show you guys that you can use any. Any really piece of wood, any piece of wood that's a log will do as long as you can get your axe on it without killing yourself. As soon as it gets going through it, it splits like butter. Now be careful when you're lining up your axe, don't cut your hand. And be careful not to miss with the sledgehammer. Or else your hand's going right into the back of the axe. It will not feel good. Now I'm going to get a big piece of wood to show you guys that you can split that too. I got a good piece of cedar. Let me show you guys. So it's about the size of my hand and about shin high. Now that's a little big for anybody who's this is their first time splitting wood. 
Now you just want to get your axe in there. And then, looks like it's going to stay up for me today. Ow! Alright, this is going to be the split. Just kidding. That is. Now I just took a couple swings. I'm going to split it this way. It does have a little limb on it, so it's trying to work its way around that. There we go. Now, cedar, as you can see, it's pink. This is the wood you normally find. It has a distinctive smell, and it doesn't get bugs on it has no bugs. Bugs come to it and they might land on it and then they'll fly away. It's great for burning, great for cooking. Gives your food a nice taste. Now I'm gonna split these couple of pieces and yeah. missed it a little bit. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be burned, right? It takes a couple swings and it'll uh, chop it right up or split it. Why did I say chop? But <clears throat> I want to show you guys some mushrooms that are growing on my on my wood. I think these might be oyster mushrooms, but they got grass growing through them. I don't know what the heck it is. But generator, if anybody wants a generator, comment down below. The dock guy that was building our dock, that was his generator. He left it here, said he was gonna come and get it, and then, then he died and nobody's gotten it. It's been here for about a year. Guess it's a good way to get rid of a generator if you don't want it. Just leave it at somebody's house. Crap. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I know this wasn't a video for the average little kid, but if you're a little kid and you're watching this, and you want to learn how to Cut firewood, and good for you. Go cut it, but be careful, because you are going to have to use an axe. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I said that. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.